Good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Monday, August 3rd. And as the coronavirus continues to move forward, COVID-19 and the sheltering in place and the various uh, wearing masks and gloves and so forth, uh, something that's starting to show uh, it's uh, 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 up a lot more is depression. And when we think about depression and anxiety and how can gratitude help with that? And as the economic aspect of the pandemic has impacted people as well, uh, depression is going to be even more uh, apparent, I think. So a couple of tips for today, a couple of thoughts, at least for today. Gratitude can help decrease depression. Uh, the answer that they say in some studies is yes, gratitude combats depression. Practicing gratitude can have a profound effect on our moods. In one study, a group of moderately depressed people were found to be less depressed after they completed a daily online gratitude exercise. And of course, I always talk about gratitude journals, but any exercise, writing down what you're most grateful for, the top five things, the top three things, whatever it might be, the top 10 priority list, whatever you want to do around folks, you know, what you're grateful for, which of course means you're focusing on what you have versus what you don't have. And as I always say, gratitude turns what you have into enough. The participants listed five things they were grateful for during the day. Self-critical individuals in particular experienced a greater boost in overall happiness. So that's really cool. Why do, grat why do gratitude exercises help improve our moods? Scientists point to a surge in hormones like dopamine, serotonin, and oxytoc oxytocin, as well as a shift in thinking. This shift moves the focus from negative outcomes to positive ones and helps boost our mood. A couple of exercises. Um, practicing gratitude can be as easy as noting on a daily basis three things for which you are grateful for. You may wish to take time at the end of the day for this exercise or simply take note throughout the day. Write in a gratitude journal, something I talk about a lot. This exercise can also be formalized by writing down things for which you are grateful in the actual journal. And some people write in the morning, <coughs> excuse me, some people write at night. I tend to write in the morning, kind of sets up my day. Uh, reaching out, reach out to those around you and let them know that you appreciate them and are grateful for them too. So excellent points. And as this depression does take hold a little bit, think about that and how you can apply gratitude to your life and make sure that you're showing your gratitude to your people, your friends, in your life, your family members, your loved ones, and writing that down in that journal or those exercises will make a big difference. That's the Daily Gratitude News for today. We will see you tomorrow. Remember, be grateful and never quit.